Hello everybody, welcome to Natty's Home Cooking and today we are making smothered pork chimichangas. I had to do this three times because I couldn't get it right. Um, so right now what I'm doing is I'm searing this pork roast on each side to sear in the juices and then we're just going to let it cook most of the day um, and I'm just going to let it cook on low in this pot, this roasting pot. And uh, so right now we're just going to sear on each side until it's all toasted on on the sides, on the, the bottom, the, the top, everywhere. And then once we get that all done, we are going to chop up some onions. We're going to put the onions in where the we cook the roast. And we're also going to put in some liquid smoke. So let's go ahead and get those going right now. All right, I'm going to add a half a stick of butter in with this um, grease, um, just because it's we're going. This is where we're going to be cooking the roast anyway. But I'm going to let this melt down and um, mix in with all of it. So once we get this all melted down, we're going to be adding a little bit of liquid smoke to it. Um, I do about a teaspoon and a half altogether for the liquid smoke, and a half a stick of butter for the the butter and then once we get this all melted down we're going to be adding in our onions here in just a second all right so once we add in our onions we're going to let we're going to go ahead and stir those up really well with that butter oil and um, liquid smoke that we have in there so mix that all up really good All right, so now we're gonna add some chili flakes. Um, I like to add these to give a little bit of a spice. So we'll let that work in there with it. And then we're also gonna add some garlic powder. And then I'm just gonna stir this up really well, mix it in. All right, now we're gonna add in some more water because I want it to really um, soak the roast when I add it in here. So we're gonna let the roast soak in here to the water. And before we close the lid, we're gonna add some salt to the top of this and we're just gonna let it work with the roast and then cover it and let it cook. All right, let's take a look at this. Wow, beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna start on our tortillas. I am I am making a double batch, so because um, I'm gonna need about 15 tortillas for this recipe um, for our chimichangas. So I'm gonna make a little well. I did six cups of flour. Now I'm gonna be doing two teaspoons of baking powder. Okay, and now I'm gonna add a half a cup of uh, shortening, um, and I done vegetable oil I personally do not like the vegetable oil it just makes it to um, the tortillas feel a little heavier and more like a damp look and I don't like that so I like to have my tortillas fluffy and, um, and more manageable um, so this is why I add the shortening you can add whatever you want. If you don't want to use a shortening, you want to use a different type of vegetable oil, that is fine. You can do definitely do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and mix this up really well um, with the flour and the shortening and the baking powder. Um, you will also need two teaspoons of salt to this and you're going to need two cups of hot water.
Now I'm going to tell you guys that I have tried two different ways of making my tortillas like a perfect round and I have tried the tortilla press and I have one of those and I bought it um, a really nice one an expensive one and I also use my Chinese um, rolling pin now I'm gonna tell you that I personally do not like the tortilla press I don't like how it works I don't like how it, it um, flattens out the tortillas I personally like doing my own like rolling it out it's just so much better and I will show you how the tortilla press works it personally does not work well for me I don't I don't know maybe I'm doing something wrong I have tried different ways with it it just does not make a perfect tortilla and it doesn't flatten them out very well like this Chinese rolling pin so that's why I use this the the pin instead when rolling out my tortillas because it makes them perfect so I'll show you here in a little bit on the um, tortilla press okay here is the tortilla press that I got um, I even help it out a little bit before I even put the the dough on here I roll it out just a little bit for it to see if that would help it because I've even put it in there just the whole, whole dough um, of the little round dough that I want to use it does not work that way so I even roll it out with my rolling pin to see if this would make it even better so I push it down squish it down and when I lift it this is what I get not even like flat enough or big enough I mean it just doesn't work I I don't know because if I just leave it like that it's not um, it's gonna be still too thick for me and I I don't want my tortillas too too thick I want them thin enough to where I can roll them out and or roll them with food in it like my fillings and stuff so that's why I have to roll it out a little more um, the the tortilla press can only do so much I guess so I don't use it very much all right so now that we got our um, tortilla on there we are cooking it and sorry about the messy um, stove right now because I've been um, cooking the roast and everything and I hate a messy stove it bothers me more than anything so anyway um, look how beautiful these are turning out they're turning out really really good you don't want them to be um, on there too too long because it can burn um, you got to really watch these because they they do cook pretty quickly um, I do have a tortilla um, uh, flat griddle here that I use each time I do more tortillas all right it's a little hot and it worked out perfect so we're gonna add another one but this is how you'll keep doing it. and I just keep them in aluminum foil until they're all completely done and like I said we are making um, 15 of these so for chimichangas because we're gonna do like a smothered angelata so I, I do it this way Okay, now that our roast, pork roast, is completed, let's go ahead and start shredding this. And by the way, it smells amazing because I roasted those onions with it. And I also put um, a little bit of that, my cilantro that I had dehydrated earlier, added that in there 
as well in with it. But I'm telling you guys right now that when you cook a roast, I don't care if it's a pork roast or a beef roast, it's always best to sear it in the pan because it seals in those juices. It just makes it so much more amazing. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and shred all this up and place it into this bowl. And it, it's just falling apart. Like it's just coming right off the bone. Okay, so I've um, sliced up some onions and chopped up the smoked green chili uh, jalapenos, uh, smoked jalapenos, sorry, that we roasted outside. We're just going to mix this all, all up here and we're going to kind of break it down and then we're going to add it to our pork roast um, that we just finished shredding. So we're going to go ahead and move it over to the shredded pork and we'll add that to it. Wait one second. Okay, guys, so since we got that done, let's go ahead and make the sauce for the um, um, shredded pork. So I'm adding some taco seasoning, one package. And then I'm going to add a little bit of barbecue. I know, don't judge, just just wait, okay? Do about, I don't know, maybe a third cup of uh, barbecue sauce. Then we're going to add in some ranch. And I do about, I would say, about a fourth cup of ranch all together because I do add a little bit more. I need to mix this up really, really quick because it's bothering me. So let me just mix this um, pork roast up. Okay, now we're gonna add in some garlic powder. We're gonna add in our uh, dried uh, cumin, or not cumin, but cilantro, so sorry about that. Now we're just gonna mix this up really, really well. Um, go ahead and mix that. Now the angelata sauce, we do need to get this started because this is our topper for top, the topping part for the um, angelatas. So, go ahead and make your roux right now I'm doing a little bit of oil and I'm doing some flour so that I can make a thickening for the um, angelata sauce and usually I make my own angelata sauce but I'm being lazy tonight because I've been working all day today um, for outside and trying to help my husband with the chicken coop and my and my boys so right now we're just going to go ahead and mix this up make a thickening a thickener like a roux and then we'll go ahead and get ready to add in our angelata sauce the can um, i do need to add a little bit more flour because i realize it's still too too liquidy so i just need to thicken it up a little bit more Okay, once we get that cooking and that roux thickened up just a little bit, let's go ahead and add in our angelata sauce. I am going to add a half a can of water to this because um, I just need to add a little bit in here because you don't want it to be too much of the angelata sauce. So you want to dilute it down just a little bit. And then I will add the rest of the other can of angelata sauce into this. So give me one second. 
All right, so I'm going to add a little bit of cumin. Um, I do realize that <laughs> when I was adding the cumin, the fan was blowing it kind of away from where I was sprinkling it. So it kind of made a mess. And then I did add some garlic powder to this as well. And we're just going to mix this in with the sauce so that um, it gives it a really good flavor and it marinates into together. I did also add some chili powder. So add your chili powder to this um, and then start mixing it and then letting it just cook together. Okay, and then you guys don't be afraid to taste. You've got to taste it in order to, you know, make sure it tastes all right when you go to add this to your topping. So I am going to give it a little bit of a taste to see how it is. Um, and if I need to add a little bit more flavor to this, I will. Um, so let me get a spoon and we'll go ahead and taste this. Okay, I realized that I do need a little bit more um, salt to this so because it still didn't have that flavor that taste yet I mean I think it was just because and I added a little bit more garlic and I think it was because the the fan was spreading all my seasonings everywhere when I was adding it so I ended up having to add a little bit more to this because it just the flavor wasn't there yet so like I said always taste your food always um, because if you don't, then it's going to taste like crap if you don't have it right. So I'm always tasting as I go. And now I realize that, yes, it's perfect. So I'm just going to let this simmer while I do the rest of this stuff, the rest of the cooking. I'm going to just let it cook on its own. Now we do need to get the oil started because um, we have to fry those, those chimichangas. All right, so before we get started with the frying, we need to definitely finish up the sauce. So um, I'm going to start mixing this up really well. I do need to taste it, and I do need to add a little bit more ranch. So um, I'm definitely going to do that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of water to this as well to kind of dilute it down just a bit. But I do need to add a little bit more ranch. So let me mix this up really good. Um, and like I've always told you, you've got to taste. If you don't taste, then how are you going to know what it tastes like? You don't want to serve something to your your um, friends or your family if it doesn't taste good to you. So that's why I said taste as you go. So we're just going to mix this up really well. And I do have a bad angle at this because I didn't have my camera set right. So I do apologize about that. Okay, so once I get this all mixed up with a little bit of water, and it looks the texture looks good because I did add about a half a cup of water to that. Um, now that we got that all mixed in, we are going to go ahead and start adding in the cheese into our pork roast. So I am going to add a lot of cheese to this um, so that it gives it the flavor as well. And don't be a, don't be stingy. Make sure you add the cheese into there. Because you want that, that cheese to taste, you know, give that good flavor um, when you're eating your chimichangas. You just don't want to taste the, the roast, the pork roast only, and that sauce. You want to have the cheese in there with it. All right, so get that all mixed up really, really well. And you're going to add in that sauce in here with it as well, too. So just keep mixing. Okay, now it's time to roll up the, the tortillas. So just go ahead and fill and then roll it and set it to the side because then you're going to deep fry them. Okay, so just roll all up your 15 uh, burritos and um, we're going to deep fry them and make them into chimichangas. Okay guys, we have them deep frying, deep frying, and once they get done deep frying on each side, 
we will add them to the pan. And I did not record that part, so I am so sorry. Um, that was when they came out of the oven, smothered into the sauce. This is what it looks like. And then this is what it looks like whenever you doctor it up with like your lettuce, your tomato, your ranch, or if you want to put sour cream or um, salsa, you can definitely do that. Um, but it turned out amazing really really good this is what is a called a um port chim pork chimichanga angeladas so amazing you guys have got to give this a try um i will um show show you what it looks like here inside my husband's gonna get one cut open for you so give me one moment okay and so he's gonna open this up It is so, so good. We already did a little taste test, so. And like I said, you wanna try it before you feed your family or your friends. But this turned out amazing. I hope you guys really like it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching my video. Enjoy.